connected. Hello, Mesh Intercom on. My name is Paul Thomas from Tucson, Arizona. My name is Lex Albrecht. I live in Montreal, Canada, and I've been a professional cyclist for eight years. I love riding all types of bikes, especially learning how to ride new bikes. Tandem bike is a bicycle made for two. So you have, it's one frame, two sets of cranks, two handlebars, and rolls as one bike. Today we're gonna to share some tips for starting out on a tandem bike. Riding a tandem is definitely not as easy as it may appear. There's so much going on on the tandem. There's more physics or amplified physics that's going on on the right single bike. You have two people and you have to do the exact same. You have to think the same things and you have to ride the exact same way. So today we're gonna to practice three skills. First, we're gonna start with how to get started on a tandem, how to clip in and push off. Clipping in on the right. Starting the bike, learning actually how to get the machine rolling. Three, two, one, and pedal. That's the first key thing, is how do you get the tandem moving from a dead start? Then we're gonna practice pedaling with just one foot, and this is important because it's a skill that you need to use for stopping. And push off. And then we're going to learn how to stand riding up. Well, there's no better time than now to learn how to stand. Three, two, one, and up. Oh, that was smooth, Lex. Good job. As soon as I hear that stretched out and, I know that the up part is going to come up and I have to prepare to stand up. Standing is one way to actually stretch your back, your legs, your neck, and that is a wonderful art form once you can figure that out, how to actually stand where both riders, the captain and the stoker, standing up at the exact same time, sitting down at the same time. The bike goes much faster, more comfortably when you can figure that out. Like anything, repetition. So we're going to stand, we're going to sit, we're going to stand, and we're going to have cues. Today we're riding with the R2 Evo Senna Smart Helmets. These helmets use mesh technology to connect with each other. So I can hear what Paul is saying and Paul can hear what I'm saying quite clearly, even though we're not beside each other, we're just like one behind the other person. Especially when we're going really fast or it's really windy out, this is really useful because it makes it a lot easier for us to hear each other. And that means that we can communicate better and that makes our tandem ride a lot better. Communication is the key. If you can't communicate, you're not gonna enjoy the ride. 